Hi everyone, I'm back. And we're back with uh, part two of the new nurse over morning coffee, the challenges of a new nurse. And without a doubt, it must be very challenging when you are a new nurse, everything seems overwhelming. You feel like you'll never get everything organized in the clinical setting, but everything finally comes together like the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Here are two new nurses. They're sharing unpleasant clinical experiences that could have been avoided. And one is saying to the other, I'm sorry to rush coffee break. I forgot to chart my medications yesterday, so I had to catch up. I have to catch up. The other one is saying, I got stuck with a needle because the dispenser was full and I had to fill out a report and have it checked. Well, one thing is clear that you're supposed to document medications at the time that they're given. And the reason this is so important, what if the other nurse comes along and decides that that pill was not given and gives it? And what about if that patient had a reaction? How are you going to even know when there's no documentation? So it is important to document medications when they're given at that time, not the day following. Now about recapping needles, this is never a safe thing to do. What if you get stuck with that needle and what, what was wrong with the patient who you stuck in the first place? A needle stick should always be reported, however, and every institution has policies in place, procedures in place that you are supposed to follow the instructions if it does happen. And above all, typically what happens, needle holders are removed long before they get full. They should only be typically about three quarters full when they're closed and a new one is put in place. Usually they're locked and there's somebody who has that responsibility of unlocking them with a key and putting a new one in long before it gets to that point. And remember, you do not dispose of a needle in an already full holder. This is just really dangerous. I can think of a number of ways that a nurse can get stuck. I found a patient's used needles just lying at the bedside one day of a nurse who was a night nurse and a patient did get stuck with the needle, so it can happen. Uh, you have to be extra super careful to dispose of needles where it's meant to be disposed of. Think of your safety and the safety of the other person who comes along. And we're going to go on to a topic which should not be overlooked because medication is administered to patients all day long. I cannot think of a single nurse who has not been in a situation to administer medications, whether you work in a clinic, in ICU, on a floor, we can go on and on and on in a doctor's office. We always have to give some kind of medication. Here is a nurse who's saying, um, I say if they're all the same color, chances are they're all the same dose. That's not true. Same color pill does not mean it's the same dose. You may have some pills that are a gram, one milligram, 250 milligrams or 500. So it's very important to pay close attention to safe medication administration. And if you're not sure what the rules are, it's imperative that you ask someone else to help you. A gram equals a thousand milligrams, five gram, I'm so sorry, I meant 0.5 gram equals 500 milligrams and 0.25 gram equals 250 milligrams. If you take the time to go to sessions, I believe it's 22 and 28, there is more in medication administration that might be of help to you. This is our dearnurses.com. And on dearnurses.org, there's plenty of helpful information about needle sticks. Then we go on to the administration of narcotics. Narcotics are drugs like morphine, Dilaudid, um, I can't think of a few right now, but Ativan, all of these things are drugs that are considered narcotic. And I know we give them, but we have to be extra super careful about things like some patients do develop, they do have side effects, and patients may develop things like lethargy, mental confusion, respiratory depression. In fact, I've seen doctor's orders written that you should hold the narcotics if uh, they have a reaction, if they tend to be very, respirations are less than eight, and if um, patients is a bit confused or lethargic, because this can very readily happen. So please take the time when you give narcotics to not only document, but make sure that you follow up to see what sort of reaction that patient has. Not everybody responds badly, but there are that number of patients who might have a reaction. Not just a reaction, you can also have anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is obviously like the throat starting to swell and it goes a little bit further than just lethargy. And also dearnurses.org is packed with helpful information. 
And now we're going to talk about, last but not least, um, about the nurse who had a long day and is feeling overwhelmed, new again. Being new does not give us an excuse to do the wrong thing because at some point we have to learn. She did not document, she discontinued an IV and just let the IV run onto the floor without taking the time to put it in the right place. What about the person who comes along and slips and falls? That presents a fall risk. And then she did not even document the amount of IV fluid that was given and the amount of, you know, if it was given, what happened to the rest of the fluid. And please remember also, IV tubings are normally labeled when you start an IV. You label your tubings with the date and time. And of course, always follow your institution's policies and procedures. Have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed learning.